Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here. And today I'm going to show you guys how to delete a single color from an image on Photoshop. Now this can be used if you're trying to get rid of a green screen or here I have an example of a vectorized file where I want to remove this background color. And what I want to do is make this art without a background and just save this as a PNG file. So it's actually pretty simple. I'll show you on this image first and then we'll go to the green screen. What you want to do is make sure that your layer is selected. For me, it's just this one image. So that's my background. Go to select color range. And then here with the dropper, you can actually choose the color that you want to select that you want to get rid of. So for me, it's this background. I can select that. And then here you have a couple of different options. You have localized color clusters, which is with something like this, where it's very simple, flat colors. You don't want selected. Leave that off. And then right here where it says fuzziness, you can slide that back and forth to get it to make sure that it's exactly how you want it. Now you see here, if you look closely, this is a little bit more gray now than it is solid black. What you want is you want the area that you want to keep to be as dark as possible. So I'm going to move this fuzziness slider a little to the left. That looks great. Now I'm going to press OK. Now once it's selected, go and choose your rectangular marquee tool. And now you can see that there's an actual selection. Now you can actually press the delete button. Now, before you press OK, under contents, you can choose what's going to take place from that deleted selection, either the foreground color, etc. But again, what I want to do is just make a blank transparent background so I can save this as a PNG so I can overlay this anywhere I want. So I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to deselect the selection. I'm going to duplicate this layer and then I'm going to hide the background. Then I'm going to select the new layer, go to select color range. Once again, select that background. I have the same settings as earlier, then press OK. Now that it's selected, press delete once again. And then now if I click anywhere else to get rid of the selection, now I can zoom in and you can see that everything from that color is gone. And now I have a transparent background and I can save this as a PNG. Now let's go to the green screen here. Let's say I want to get rid of this entire green screen. I'm going to duplicate this layer, hide the bottom layer, stay on the new layer, select color range. And then from here with the dropper, I'm going to choose the green that I want to get rid of, which is this here. And then now, as you can see here under the little preview section, there are some areas where it's darker green that are not fully selected. Now, when you look in this little preview window, whatever is white is going to be your selection. So here I have some darker areas that are not fully selected. So then you can go to the little add to sample dropper. And then now you can actually select more areas so you can choose more colors to add to get rid of. Now, if you want to get rid of some, then you do the subtract from sample. But overall, I think we got all the green out. Now here you see on the guy, he's actually not solid dark. And if he's not solid dark, that means you're actually going to end up deleting some of this here. So whatever is kind of grayish is actually going to get deleted from him. So he's going to not be as clear. Let me show you an example. I'm going to press OK. And then if I click on the rectangular marquee tool and then press delete, you see now it took out a lot of information from him here. So I'm going to undo that, select color range. Now these have the same exact settings that we had earlier with all the other areas selected as well. Now what you're going to want to do is slide this fuzziness slider to where he's solid dark. Once he's solid dark, then nothing in the black is going to be selected. So when you delete, no information will be deleted from here. Around here, all the green seems to be taken out. So from here, press OK. Then go ahead and press delete. And boom, there we have it. Click outside of the selection and now you have him right here with a transparent background. So if you want it to actually add a layer underneath, you can actually do the paint bucket. If you do want to have a background, you can make it a white background or if you want to change that to a red background or again, you can hide that and save it as a PNG. And that way, this is something that you can just easily overlay anywhere else. And that's how simple it is to remove solid colors from an image in Photoshop. Please make sure to drop a like on this video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.